Oh, there's the city. Yes. Oh my God, we're on one of the three rivers. Shit, we're climbing. That's a fan. Here at the city. Fan's feeling good. Fan's full blast. We're gonna bank. We're gonna dive. There's the whole city. This is cool. Alright, so I've been isolating myself a lot lately. I haven't been skateboarding. I haven't been hanging out with any of my friends. Uh, so I thought it'd be fun to do kind of a different project today. What originally got me into programming was playing with Arduino, uh, mainly interfacing Arduino with Unity. I thought that was super cool. So I was able to dig up some uh, old hammocks that I wasn't using from my basement the other day, and I'm thinking we could do something cool where we add Arduino sensors to these hammocks and then build some kind of VR flying experience. So right now I am on my way to pick up my friend Morgan and uh, he's gonna help me try to come up with something. Check out more books. Does he have anything good? Ooh, this might come in handy today. Alright, what was the intro again? Hi, I'm sitting here with my friend Matt. He came up with a really cool idea. We're gonna make a hang glider app. Oh my god. VR style. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I wanted to make some kind of VR like flying experience where you're laying down, kind of like that birdly thing where you can flap your wings and fly, but it turns out with my the hammocks that I have, it doesn't look like that's gonna be possible. So you can hold on to the crossbar of the hammock and turn left and right. So I'm thinking we can make some kind of hang glider experience. What I'm thinking is we use an ESP8266 Node MCU that can run our Arduino code. Uh, it'll also allow us to send UDP packets to our VR app that's running on our iPhone. So we can use that. We'll probably use an accelerometer, an MPU uh, 6050 to turn like accelerometer gyro values into usable XYZ values. That way we can get the angle that the hammock is turning. Uh, it does not let us lean forward and backward though, which sucks. So I'm thinking that we'll maybe have two buttons, like a red button for going down, a green button for going up, something like that. And then whenever those buttons are pressed, we can assume that our velocity is gonna change in the game. So we could actually have a fan that blows faster or slower whenever you press those two buttons. Yeah. Okay, so I'm, st I'm thinking that the app should be procedurally generated so that we don't have to keep like flying around the central area. So I've used the world SDK before in Unity and that's pretty nice for like procedurally generating the world in front of you. So, I okay, hold on, hold on. So I'm sitting here editing and I'm watching all the funny things Morgan is doing while I'm talking. The one thing that I'm having trouble ignoring is the fact that he hits my vape and there's no cartridge in it. Okay, so if we blow this up a little bit and we zoom in on Morgan, you'll notice that he's hitting a vape here and uh, there's no cartridge in it. These things are supposed to have a cartridge. He's hitting literally just a battery. Anyway, I think it uses Google Maps or something to create like uh, actual uh, 3D buildings with colliders and everything like that. So I'm thinking we use the World SDK. That way, no matter where we fly, it's just gonna keep generating tiles of uh, geography around us. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna work on the VR portion of the app. Morgan, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna try and take uh, the accelerometer data we're gonna get from the, the 6050 here and turn it into usable data so that we can get our hang glider to get a little bit of an omnidirectional capability with it. Sorry, right, trying to change directions and whatnot. Accelerometer data. Cool. <laughs>
Look at that, baby. She's wet. Okay, so like five hours later, we got everything set up. We got a battery connected to our Node MCU, which is connected to our MPU 6050, which also has two buttons, one for going up and one for going down. Okay, so everything is pretty much up and running. The only thing that we don't have working is the fan. So, Morgan, what do you know about fans? They blow. Uh, we're probably gonna need a relay. Um, a relay for the different speeds. Why don't you hit up Fatty, the relay guy? Okay, good idea. I like it. Fatty! Hi! Alright, Fatty, so what do we got here? So, Matt, what we got here is a four channel relay that we're gonna hook into this fan right here, and I also have this microcontroller. It has a Wi Fi module, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and hook this into the Unity software that you made and hopefully get the hang glider to work. Fatty, you, you forgot the most important component. A beer? How's it coming? Um, I could use some electrical tape. Um, you know what, when I was in fan engineering school, this is, this is what we use, so I, I think we might be good. All right, so I think we're ready to plug this in. What's the worst that can happen, honestly? Yo, what up? It's your boy here, William Osmond, here with the hotly anticipated house tour. Things have changed. We moved some furniture around and then burned the whole place to the ground. Fatty, I'm scared. Me too. <laughs> I think I might have just hit the button. <laughs> the light went out. That's not a good sign. All right. Okay. That's so exactly what we expected. Nothing happening. So it's not doing anything, but... It's not on fire, either. <laughs> okay. Arduino is plugged in. We wrote some sick code. We're about to upload it right now. What do you think is going to happen? I think it's going to go off without a hitch. Absolutely. I don't know what that whirring sound is, but I'm sure it's fine. It's nothing to worry about. Oh, wait. Is the fan in a place that it can spin? Kind of. Okay. Whatever you do, don't touch it. Oh god. Fatty, I'm scared. Don't worry, Matt, I'm here. Okay, so this looks like this is what we want, right? That's uh, the code that we wrote. It turns out that you have to invert the pins. You have to send a signal for them to turn off. So, mm -hmm. if I send all three high, they'll all be off. And then each one that I set to low will be uh, on. I don't know what's going to happen, but... I mean, it sounds like you know what you're doing. Is that what that sounds like? <laughs> Can we talk about this mess that we made? I cleaned, like, before you came. <gasps> oh my god, is it running? We have a fan! <laughs> yes! What an accomplishment. <laughs> oh my god, fan specialist, you're living up to the name. Oh my god, it's working. Okay, so thanks to Fatty, our fan is working. We've got our ESP node in and node MCU sending packets to our fan here, which is also running another node MCU. So when you press any of these buttons down, the fan goes faster. And also, that's how you dive in the game. So the red button makes you go up, and the fan blows faster, and then the green button makes you go down, and the fan blows faster. Okay, so now we just have to get this thing set up. Alright, so this is my roommate Lee. He's gonna get everything uh, set up with me. Morgan's here, but he's doing homework. So he's here for moral support. Alright Lee, how are we gonna hook up this fan? Okay, ideally, the fan needs to be right here. It needs to be blowing in your face while you're sitting in the hammock. So here's what I'm thinking. Why don't you use one this of your wood? What if you use your zip tie for like the rope part? You know, but how are we gonna part. attach the fan to the crossbar? I think you screw through this. I don't know. You don't think it's a crack or anything? I'm not like a wood expert or anything. I thought you were a wood expert. All right, Morgan. We need somebody else. He doesn't even know anything about wood. <laughs> um, yeah, I think if you screw directly into it, there's a high chance of it cracking. Yeah. We have to like, pre, pre drill a hole. Do you use zip ties also? If you put the fan on that wood, then you can zip tie that wood to the other bar. And just yeah. Like... So just only zip ties? Zip ties, zip ties are, are pretty strong. They're ridiculously strong. 
you were trying to cut us a tie even with like a knife or scissors, it's like almost impossible. Okay, so I'm not saying I'm like a genius, but uh, I don't know. I mean, the evidence is all here. You definitely shouldn't say you're a genius. This is looking legit. Would I'd buy one. Would you buy one? No. Okay, famous power. Faster. This is looking good. Looking good. Dude, but is your phone going to be able to handle the processing power required? <laughs> Is your brain going to be able to handle the processing power of this? I don't think so. That's the question. Oh, shit, we're climbing. How's that fan feel? Here's the city. Fan's feeling good. Fan's full blast. Alright. We're going to take it a little bit higher. We're going to bank. We're going to dive. Oh, there's the point. Disappears when I die. Yeah, I know you're talking about. It gets, it gets blurry, right? What the fuck is that shit? I told you. Ah. Uh, you know, like, you're on like Google Earth, like you know what I mean? And like, let's say you're trying to zoom in like really, really quick, but it doesn't like yeah, understand like how slow it's really quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes out for a second. Or so. Oh, this is so cool, dude. I'm flying like over the river, and I like see the city and everything. How'd you get to the river, asshole? We can get there. Yeah. You have to turn around. Like, you have to turn around immediately. He had us like pointed towards like. You're pointed away from the city. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh shit, this is so cool. I'm in the building. Just back on the phone. Oh no. Oh, we're Oh shit, I'm gonna hit a building. Ah. <laughs> Are you in downtown right now? Yeah. Well, I'm flying to downtown, dude. All right, so that's it. That's all I got. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments what you guys want to see in the next one. Check me out on Instagram. That's where I post all of my experiments and whatnot. And definitely check out our Discord group if you want to meet some other AR and VR developers. Good night. Wait, sorry, I totally forgot something. If you guys do want to follow along and build this thing yourselves, I'm going to put full instructions with code and wiring diagrams on my Instructables page, so link will be in the description.